agreement. Most experts would agree on that, but no major disagreement. They both are for it. The way to implement it is the, where the disagreement comes in. Now, there are other issues to be involved with as well, but it is difficult to get the electorate and, for that matter, the candidates focused on the issue of education when you have the war, the economy, and everything else they're everything arguing about. Everything else swirling yeah. around right now. It is, yeah. Right. Michael, thank you. You're welcome. Bush or Kerry, it is too close to call right now, but by this time next week, we should know who America's next president will be. In honor of the election, we want to introduce you tonight to a man in Fayette County whose uh, fascination with the American presidency is inspiring many young people. Carol Lee Espy has the story. Walk into Belmar Middle School in Bel Vernon, Fayette County, and you'll get a crash course on the American presidency. That's because Belmar is home to one of the largest collections of political memorabilia in the region. Thousands of presidential posters, buttons, banners, photographs, and statues, many of them more than 100 years old, are on display here. There's hardly a hallway, classroom, or office that doesn't contain some kind of memorabilia. This is an interesting piece on Ronald Reagan here. This is from 1949. This is a sh shirt commercial, and this is where advertising dollars went before TV. Belmar principal Stephen Russell started the collection many years ago. In 1960, I had to do a current event article when I was in the fifth grade, and lo and behold, I saw John F. Kennedy and his wife, and that was the article I chose to do my, uh, my uh, current event article on. And uh, my dad, he was the one that brought home my first political campaign button. And that campaign button said, Mamie, st start packing, the Kennedys are coming. <laughs> Since then, Russell's collection has grown and grown and grown. Now, he shares it with his students. I find it very conducive as a building principal to be able to use this material to motivate uh, young people, to even motivate teachers. And we know how important that part of the educational process is. So I, uh, I really get a chuckle out of the kids whenever there's a campaign. They really seem to enjoy the political uh, extravaganza. I definitely like the big head, though. Especially what we put on here with the posters and the uh, different memorabilia items that come out throughout the campaign. So the Republican animal is what? It's a what? Elephant. Elephant? Elephant. Okay, and the Democrat? Donkey. It's the donkey, okay. And with the presidential election just days away, Russell's collection has become a great teaching tool as well. I pay more attention to it now because of the election, because all these presidents had something to share with our country. So tell me the difference between the buttons of yesterday and the buttons of today. Well, the buttons uh, first came out in 1896 in the mckinley bryan election, and um, they're very colorful. Um, they're not as large as the ones that come out as today. Today, usually buttons are two inches, three inches, four inches in diameter. But the buttons back then were seven eighths of an inch, uh, an inch, rather small, depicted a nice picture of the candidate, didn't have as much written information on it. Russell has hundreds and hundreds of buttons. Some of them are campaign buttons. Others are dedicated to the memory of fallen presidents. It is everywhere. Everywhere I look, I see something. Well, this uh, area here is dedicated to John F. Kennedy, and as we move along further, you'll see the other martyred presidents are also uh, honored in this uh, part of the school. This is a display case here. Most of these uh, bust statuettes that are in this case are originals. Um, these are 1880, 81 Garfields. Uh, these are 1901 McKinley's or 1900s. Some of them are from his campaign. There's four impressive uh, statuettes in here of uh, James A. Garfield. There, mm -hmm. there, there, and there. 
and there's McKinley uh, bus throughout, especially over in this area here. Over the years, Russell's collection has also become a tourist attraction. In the 1980s, a then relatively unknown comic by the name of Dennis Miller came to Russell's school to do a story for a Pittsburgh TV station. Hi, I'm Dennis Miller, and tonight we're at Belmar Junior High School to see what has to be one of the largest presidential collections in the country. And we have Calvin Coolidge. Everything from Washington. To President Harding, who died in office in 19 and 23. Actually, nothing this gentleman says is a guest. This is Stephen Russell, and he's the ringmaster of this incredible collection. And as campaign 2004 winds down, students begin to realize the importance of Russell's collection. It's kind of neat to see what the different presidents are like. It's nice to look at, especially when you're walking down the hall. It's nice because it's real educating and it teaches us a lot. It's like walking through a hall of faces. You can look up and see all the faces of the presidents. My favorite one is the picture by the office of John F. Kennedy. What happens when you retire? Tell. Well, ho hopefully um, a college, university, or a historical society, um, some interested uh, persons uh, in the country will take an interest in this. So I want the thing to be preserved. Hopefully somewhere in the next few years we're going to be able to find somebody to uh, permanently place many of the artifacts from this collection uh, for permanent exhibit and so many more people can uh, enjoy what's here. As you can see, Mr. Russell is a very busy person, not only as a school principal, but he also works for the Pirates. And he's a curator and general chairman of the Mid Mon Valley All Sports Hall of Fame. And of course, that collection in itself is a job. And uh, no doubt that it is. Uh, has he tried to count everything that he has? Well, of course, what we saw was just a small amount, but we're thinking, he's thinking pretty close to maybe 10,000 items. That's a lot. That's <laughs> like, glad we don't have to dust it. Exactly true. <laughs> All right, Carol, thank you. And thank you for watching. Tomorrow night, on cue is off cue, live at 7:30. Stay connected.